Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn here with our Iron Teeth in hard mode, update 5. And there was a few problems. Uh, a few problems. Uh, we ran out of food, like completely ran out of food. And I was confused as to why we'd run out of food. Um, and then I realised uh, a couple of things. Uh, one, these hadn't been built um, because they required metal blocks and we were building things like the tanks and stuff like that. So. I demolished some tanks, I got these built, and I put the tanks back in again because they were important. Also, I messed up here. Uh, these uh, storages and hydrophobic farms do not transfer power. So, these three were not getting any power at all. So, there is, on top right now, a connection between two. Fortunately, they do transfer power on the second floor. I was very concerned they didn't, but they do. So, uh, these two now power these. So, we have corn, and corn is good, and corn is great, and everything is fantastic, and we do not need a field this size of corn. We do, however, need a bigger field of kohlrabi and cassava because we don't have any cassava, I don't think. Nope, we don't have any cassava. Oh, 10 there, no, gone. Um, and a little bit of kohlrabi, so... Yeah, yeah. Um, I am trying to thin out our population. I have paused all these over here. I'm trying to thin out our population because we have, we have enough beavers to do it. Uh... Really not sure what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of tempted to. Uh, um, yeah. I thought they were in the field. I, I, like that. I thought they were over there, just on the ground, going round around in circles. No, they're not. They're floating there. Um, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to come over here and do stuff here because the the iron teeth do not need trees. It seems that they just don't need trees like at all. Look at this. This this is this. We're surviving on. Like, what's this? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 20, uh, 30 oak trees is keeping our supply full all the time. So, yeah, we don't need oak trees of that size at all. So I'm tempted to come down here and move the oak trees to here. Just in this area here, just the ones right here, and then make these farms as well. But it seems like the ITs require more farms. We could get the canola and the corn down i said i said i pointed this and said corn this is canola uh, we could absolutely cut this in half um probably cut probably make this like a another kohlrabi field uh or um cassava field then split the corn and the canola in half and do that uh, eggplants we're not using any of yet so i don't know what that's going to be there so we'll figure that one out and also here we've got more for the hydroponic farms i don't get the hydroponic farms well, they have mushrooms and algae, so there's no point in putting more hydroponic farms in there. Mm. What we should probably do is get the algae going to have more. And then, so, um, uh, yeah, so this is... It was eight, wasn't it? Was it eight? Was it, I feel like I've done this 15 times already. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, 288, sorry, 70. Divided by 288. 0 0.243, so 0 0.25, round it up, yeah, um, and you need, for algae rations, you need one, uh, so that means in one hour, four of these makes one, you need, um, I know, I know I've done this, I know, I'm sorry, uh, oh, you want four an hour, so one, two, three, four, so we need two, we need two of you doing algae, so let's change you, because the corn rations are not needed, we have plenty of corn rations. Let's change you, which means we'll be using less corn as well. So I might split the corn and the canola here. It's two fields. Um, and then move the soybeans, which we are using all of our soybeans, over to here. And then double the cassava, like we had previously. So we're going to revert back to how we were before. Uh, but that's because we don't have enough soybeans. We are doing really well on soybeans. Is about right. Right now, I think... Uh, don't these require they require canola so that's okay canola's fine we're doing we're doing fine for canola so um I think we're gonna do that I think we're gonna do that so let's just come here and let's go hey would you stop planting canola for the minute and all the rest can carry on the canola is gonna take a long time to filter out completely so I will leave the canola there um, and I will probably shut down. I'll, I'll leave the corn. We'll just we'll just let the canola run out. Let it naturally run out. And then once it's run out, 
We'll move these over, soybeans over, get those planted and running. And then once they're running, we'll stop the soybeans and then we'll plant kohlrabi here. At the same time, we'll split the corn into two and hopefully that'll be kind. Eggplants we want to use as well, so let's figure out eggplants. I'm going to have to just have a staircase here. Going up, that's fine. Um, speaking of which, however, uh, I've been doing a few things in here. Um, I have filled in the area. This this is built. This is built. Uh, there are explosives around the outside. They aren't here. Um, and I feel like I've messed this up because I've built all the staircase in here to build the lower ones, but I haven't got to here. So we're going to take out the lower ones first and then build a staircase up to reach this again. So, yeah, let's get rid of these two because this is going to be a staircase here. And then we'll, yeah, figure out the rest of it. Uh, when we get there, that's fine. But this here ah, uh, is primed and ready to go. Look at that. It's all done. It's all done. We had a staircase going in. They've come in here. They've done all the bits pieces. It's all ready to go. So, let's click on the lower level. That one there. And we'll push the button. That one. Boom. And the water goes pouring. Tsunami. Goes pouring in and then race back again. And the next level, go. I'll pour the water in. That, that's how a tsunami actually happens. Yeah, you get a massive area that opens up. Normally through an earthquake, you get a massive area under the water that opens up. The water goes pouring in. And then because it sucks all the water out from everywhere, once it pours in there, the water condenses. And then when it spreads out again, because obviously it can't have that much water in places, uh, you the wave comes back out again. And that's where you get a big tower wave. More water rushes in, and it pushes, and then it pushes itself back out again. So that's really right. That's what we're experiencing here, um, with the whole the water is filling, um, hitting the end, uh, coming back, and because there's more water filling in with it as well, it compounds and ends up overflowing over here. That's it's the same principle. So for those who are wondering, uh, and let's do the final one. We we'll start the corner. Uh, we'll, let's start down here. Start here. Ready? Go. Pop. 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 Yay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There is also something I need to report, and I should have reported it last episode. I didn't, and I forgot about it. Yeah, that, that's that's what we that's the scenario. That's big area, the water's rushing in, it's gonna hit this area, it's gonna come up very high. Come back in. Obviously, this game doesn't do tide waves, but you see the water's lower here, and then it will come back again. Imagine this is your beachfront. So the water drops down and disappears, and then all the water comes back again. There you go. There you go. Awesome. Awesome. That's actually showing it properly. See the water's much lower this level here? And higher there? That's that's how that happens. I did, didn't expect the game to simulate that that well. But it does. It's a tidal machine. That's that's a not a tidal wave, but a tidal machine. You you can actually you can you can buy them. Uh tidal, tidal machines. Fascinating videos. If you ever watch uh videos on tidal machines, they use sand and show how the waves go back and forth eventually erodes away the seabed and then causes like, cavities underground that you don't even know about and then suddenly a road disappears because it collapses so yeah um uh, anyway sorry uh, the thing i have to report uh, would be here this one or this one i can't remember exactly which one it was filled it with explosives uh and i detonated the explosives and as i detonated the explosives on one side the wave was coming over and the beaver walked along and we lost the beaver. And I should have reported it last episode because it happened when I built these. So an episode two, maybe three ago, we did kill a beaver to um, explosives. So it happened a long time ago, many, many cycles ago. But I forgot to report it. I apologize to the family of that beaver. Um, it should have been, the obituary should have been done way sooner than this. But um, uh, and unfortunately, I am a very forgetful hedgehog. So that's what happens. So uh, uh, but yeah. Uh, okay, so you're doing your thing here. That's awesome. You are rubble. Because you are rubble. Uh, so you want to be a double one, don't you? No, you want to be a triple one. You want to be a triple one. You're the next layer. Okay, so don't worry about that, actually, because this will go down by one. Yeah, so, okay. Right, cool, cool, cool. Right, okay. Okay, so yeah, I want to go up here because I want to put in more of these. For the eggplants. We have eggplant impressions we can do as well. So. Let's do that, shall we? Let's put in...
two, three, four, two, three. I'll, I'll put four in because we can put four in. Let's put four in because we can. Uh, let's build a staircase going up to it as well. Um, so we want to do double platforms here. And we'll do double, a single, oh, a single. Yeah. Up this side. We can come up this side as well. It wouldn't really matter. We can come up this side. Um, boop, boop. Uh, yep, yeah, that'll do. Food factory. The food factory. Where's the door? There. One, two, three, and four. And over the top of this one, we want to bust, and over the top of this one, we want power. I can't do the power on the end between them because they only transfer power via the center two blocks. They don't transfer it by the corners. So that goes there, and then a bust should go on top of this one if we get all the all the beavers going on there's nothing down here for doing this anyway right now but that's fine that's fine it's not a problem not a problem okay and these will all be doing uh the eggman plant we don't like that eggman uh so yeah that'll do there that. that'll um that'll go i was uh trying to think of uh, uh, something else to say there for that and I couldn't my brain failed so uh, you should pick up the logs we don't have any logs that's fine yeah so so we'll do so so yeah kohlrabi one lot of kohlrabi is I mean we do normally always have kohlrabis in but they really do struggle I'm hoping that as we get more food types like if we get the casper going on there the kohlrabi usage will drop which will make it which will make our stockpile increase so yeah, maybe. See that this is that they, they use so little canola. So little canola. It's unbelievable. So, um That's good, that's good. This is all fine. This is all working here. I think did I? I think I turned off all the plank factories actually. Let's turn the plank factory back on. Why did I turn off all the plank factories? Uh, we've got full gears. We have planks still. Oh I think we were picking up planks from the floor. There's loads of them on the floor. Uh, we just need to uh pick up messages there that's new i destroyed the um the uh food factories there i destroyed the food factories that's what we did there so uh, i'm also just going to stop all this um can you just stop um because there's just no there's just no just no point there's just absolutely no point to you running I just don't i really thought we needed something this size we really don't. We really don't. It's amazing. It's amazing that it's the exact opposite of the folktales, but it makes perfect sense. Um, the folktales are all about the farming, so you don't need as many farms for them, and the food's fine. Uh, but you need loads of wood. Loads of wood for the farm, for the uh, folktales, because all their food production buildings use wood for burning stuff. They all grill things and bakery things and stuff. Whereas the Iron Teeth are more industrialized so you think they use a lot of wood but they're efficient about the wood using i suppose is how it works so they don't waste wood burning it they've got a lot of stuff that instead is electric powered although this is powered by uh harness power and wood but the efficiency one becomes five the efficiency is so much higher for them so you don't need as much wood but you need more farmland because they're not very good farmers so yay does i do kind of agree that maybe the hydroponic gardens could be the ability to have any crop in them or maybe they should even have like a garden so you can plant them normally but then later on you replace it with a garden that requires power and lots of water and just picks you know you can build kohlrabi you can grow kohlrabi so just it's efficient it's smaller figure out how much a three by three gives you and basically double it and put a building like this so you can stack them so it gives you double the amount or, or it gives you the same amount as what a three by three area would give you if it was planted in the world but because it's a building, you can stack it. So, yeah. Just make the hydroponic garden to do everything. It would make sense for the Iron Teeth. It would work. It would make sense. Not that you could grow uh, canola in hydroponics. Oh, well. Let me rephrase that. That's completely wrong. That's utterly wrong. I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. What I meant is that these hydroponics are wet gardens is the best way to describe them. They are, they are wet gardens, which is they're wet and, and that's why they grow mushrooms and algae because they're designed to they're wet cold dark areas they're not very well lit they're, they're so perfect environment for mushrooms canola would not grow in that environment 
the term hydroponics basically just means a garden where you control the water exactly basically um so you it is it is a garden that is has watered filter through it and the water has all the minerals and all the bits and pieces in the water no feed you normally have artificial light but yeah that's the hydroponics part of that's so so yeah you could grow canola in there i mixed mixed up my wording there sorry um yeah <laughs> okay uh you're still planting stuff here that's good right go faster go faster game faster 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 build this make these okay fantastic 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 uh, you have stopped working because the water is out down there. Yes, yes, the water down there. This is now complete. The entire thing is complete all the way along. Um, hmm. Why is there any? Oh, that's in between. Ooh, hoop, hoop. Wait a minute. But this one's in between. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I've messed up here. I've messed up here, look at this. Look at this, I've messed this right up. These are not supposed to be here. These are underneath our uh, pumps. Oh no, oh no. No, 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 no. Wrong, 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 wrong. Uh, I was like, hang on a minute, why is there one here and then mortal over there? And I've done the same here as well. Although this is okay because this is not actually pumps. So yeah, yeah. And do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna delete this rubble under here. I always spend so long trying to do get the rubble and stuff, and they could probably reach some of this rubble. To get it. There are planks there. Let's uh, let's just up the priority of that for the minute. And then if it's not gone in a little while, we'll uh, yeah. Well, I don't know how they reach them. They can't, um, there was there was um, rubble in here that the beavers could not reach, but they can reach that rubble. And also this this an episode or so ago, I, I built these here, and I had when I clicked it, it told me that beavers could not reach a destination. Yeah, a little while later, they had managed to build it. So I was really confused as to why can't beavers reach their destination when they built it now. And they built the other one. So I feel like there's a bit of a misreport going on there. But um, yeah, uh, you need power. That's fine. You'll get power in a minute. This, which has power. Uh, this here has power. Um, you are producing algae rations from algae and canola oil. Canola oil is going down, but that's fine. We're okay for canola oil. I think these will keep up. I suppose we want to start the algae plants, don't we? Let's start. Start that's yeah. Start the algae plants. Build a hut. Into deep water pump. They are all high priority. Yes, dirt district farmhouse. Are all high priority or higher priority, I should say. Uh, fermenter. I'm not fussed about. Uh, food dump is low priority because with the, the main pumps deal with those. Although I might regret that in the future. Foresters don't matter because they're poor, scattering fairs, gear, haulers, hydroponic gardens. Uh, unpause, unpause, unpause. Bloop, bloop, bleep, bloop. Bleep, blah, bloop. Bleep, blue, blah, bloop, bleep, blah, bleep, blah, bloop, bloop, bleep. Pushy push, unpause, pull, pull. There's a lot of their gardens I did not realise. Wow. Uh, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Okay, are they all on pause now? Yes. There's a lot of them, there's only 16 of them, but... Okay. Uh, industrial lumber mills are all paused. There is... There's two running. Oh, there's one there. That's why... Ah, right, I was saying. We haven't run out of planks, but I'm sure they were all paused. Um, but I forgot there's one up here as well. Uh -huh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, lumberjacks are all paused. Oil presses are running. Smelters are running. Workshop is running. Everything is doing well. Wood workshop has unable to get required materials. Ah, ah, where is the wood workshop? Over here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you will not have any pine resin anymore. No, 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 no. Okay, so how about how about we change this up here? Let's unpause our woodcutters. Yeah, I kind of wish that instead of using this, I'd have done it with um, leadies now, just to use the wood up, basically. Uh, but yeah, um, we're going we're gonna to continue doing it with, um, with with ground. It makes more sense to do with ground. That's why we're not using so much wood. Uh, but you do that. You just chop down the trees. Chop down all the trees. Just chop them all down. And then what we'll do is we will seal these off here. 
and here so it is only two sections it's not slightly over two sections it's only going to be two sections so we have space either side of it for things and then we'll replace it with rain mangroves need water uh, we'll replace it with pine and what i'll do is i will put in wood choppers as well as the tapper shacks and we'll have it all chop be chopped animal but with the rate that we're using wood i feel like the pine resin the pine will the outside ones will be producing and the inside ones will be the ones that are chopped down alternatively we could just chop down one side of it and have the other side of it as as things there but i think we'll try it like this because these are not being chopped down look at this these are not so i feel like if we have pine here yes it, there will be a bigger area that they'll have chopped down because the pine grows and doesn't produce as much wood nowhere near as much wood it's only two instead of the eight so we should technically instead of having we've got here 20 tiles ish we'll have 60 tiles which will be a lot bigger but there'll still be loads around the outside that will become pine resin so that's fine this can all be flattened down as well here. Let's do that. So right, there's no storage for logs here. Let's pick that all up there. And oh, awesome, we've gone up happiness because I think we have algae now. Fantastic. Uh, you are dropping. Why are you dropping? We might not have enough here. We might need another. Big one. I was also very tempted to actually put a bigger node of storage up here somewhere um i don't know how we'd put a bigger kind of storage in there but i'm sure we could possibly figure it out um but think about a metal a metal uh one of these um a metal platform but that would have to go um Have to go in the ground by like one or two and be right here where the path is in order to get build over the top of that and make it big enough so that we could build over the top of the stuff here for the path which means then we'd have to build a path around it so it wouldn't be worth it because <laughs> we'd lose these three anyway by building the path around it so yeah and it would block off this and it would cause complications so let's maybe maybe we could just remove one and build a metal platform, put a metal platform in there. Um have a bridge over to it, put a three by three code on there, and then we could get a uh um another um press in. We'll see on that one. We'll see on that one. I can't I kinda do want to use them. I don't ever use them because I feel like they're expensive what they are. But I do want to. I do want to try and use more things that I don't normally do. So Right, so you are done here. Done here. Uh, yes, you're done as well as you can be done here. Okay, so get rid of that. Get rid of that. Put in singles and singles. We need to get rid of this here and do this, but I need to get up in here and do stuff first. So singles going there. Okay. Um, do that. We'll then take out that. Put a one. No, we'll take out two of those, put one there. In fact, I'll take all of it out, but no, we can't put a bridge in. Is it on the edge? We'll do one at a time. We'll do one at a time. That'd be fine. That'd be fine. So, yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Population is still... Uh, actually, population is balanced. It was at 16 a minute ago. So, population is good. Population is good. And I haven't even got these built. Because we don't have any treaty planks. We don't have any pines. So, we're already down by... 100 population or whatever these do um 50 there yeah, 50 60 population whatever it is so yeah we'll get these chopping down the wood we're not using the wood anywhere which is a little bit annoying but we'll get these chopping down the wood here um i'm really tempted to just we will i think we'll extend these levees out along here let's let's do that Mm. Mm. Not sure. I want to be doing this. I'm really not sure. I want to, I want, I want to kind of fill it with land, but also do it. I, sh I should have built the dam at levees. Should have built the dam at levees. Oh well, a bit later now. We'll, we'll carry on doing with that. It makes more sense. 
I just want to use some wood up. That's basically the, the whole idea. Use some wood up. What have we got that really uses a lot of wood? What do the monuments take? Treaty planks. Uh, you are planks and metal blocks, and you are just wood. Oh, that'll work. That'll work. Let's get some of those in here. Um, now, we were going to put the Tribute of Ingenuities on the end here, because uh, of the power, uh, which we still could do. We could put one here, which covers everyone. Yeah, one here that covers everyone, and then one there that covers everyone. Let's put them in. What I... Yeah, put them in, unlock them, put them... And we'll rotate that one that way, and we'll rotate this one this way. But I'm going to pause them. Not that the beavers can reach them. No, no beavers can actually reach them at all anyway. But I'm going to pause them because I don't want them being built yet. They're just going to go in there. Um, the Flame of Unity, uh, we need that at... I mean, that can reach all of those and these down here as well. So one there, one there. there and there one there and uh oh, what the um yeah uh flame of unity we we'll do one each side which is fine we don't we don't need to do multiple ones we can just do one there and that covers all those houses but the problem is is that the lay monument does not we need lay monument on each and every corner which means we need lay monument there where where the tribute ingenuity is because otherwise it won't work well, we could put them up there that would work then we can't put it up here because there's nowhere to put it up here hmm hmm what if we moved you to be here facing that one? So pause you. They can actually reach that. They can actually get to that one. So we'll pause that one. So we've got three of them. One facing this way, one facing down, one facing that way. Okay, and that will cover all of our... That covers every single one of our things there. Kind of want to put them the other side. So, um, so they reach... They cover the farms better. Doesn't matter. As long as they're covering the houses, it's fine. Um, the lay monuments are going to go on every sort of... They're going to go there. I'm going to put one here. Does that cover that? That will cover... Oh, especially if we do that. So let's do that. So let's put one there. Yes. One there. Uh, one there and one there. Okay. And then we're going to put them here as well. Because that needs to cover the ones down here as well. So remove them facing that. Oh, uh, one more have to go... Uh, it's technically got to go one over on that, so I can't do that there. Um, so it's technically got to go one over because it's got to be on top of another building over here. Uh, so we'll put it there for the minute, that's fine. Because I don't know what's going to happen down here. But we'll do that. And then here, they want to go here, but we need to put them like wherever. So on the corners. There, 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 there. Yeah, and there and that should be every last one of you guys covered apart from this over here uh, but I think we can get away with this one um, if we change this so instead of the road being come up there it comes up from the other side but it can't come up from the other side because of so we need to put one on the end here Oh, I know how to do it. Right, we'll, we'll disconnect this dance here. Oh, you're going to be stuck now. Sorry. Sorry, you're going to be stuck. That's okay. It's fine. We'll deal with you in a moment. You go there. The path goes underneath. You remove that. Are you stuck up there? No, you're not. I think we, we do have the unstuckify mod, so that's probably fixed that there. Um, and then we go with... Um, We've got to come this way. We can't come that way because it stops here. Not that these are going to be here. 
in the end so we can change this but right now they are there so we have to kind of deal with it this way yep like that okay and then the monument can go on the end like this and that way there you go and that should be if i click this now um, every last one of our houses covered with uh, happiness. It doesn't actually highlight them unless you click in the extra thing. So if I click that, does that highlight all three of them? Is that glowing? That is glowing. Awesome. That one, these are glowing, and this is glowing. See the glow? Glow. Shiny shine. Uh, you are glowing all three. Oh, what was I saying? Uh, you are glowing all three there. Yep. You are glowing all three here. Just double checking this, making sure I've got everything covered. Um, and then you're doing that so yeah so and this is a rinse and repeat so it works so if it works here it works here this is the only exception it just needs to move out by one but that's fine and then we can get the other monuments because these have got a longer range um we can put them in uh no no we can't no we can't no we can't because they that that will reach um, all of this area, all this side here. That's not a problem, okay? But then I can't put one here because that's where the tribute ingenuity is. You know what? You know what? I'm actually going to. Pause the game and re-evaluate this. What if we built the platform out and we put the two here and then two here and two here and two and we just did that. And we could put one um, flame of unity there. But, in order, oh, you built that one already. Okay, oh, you built that one already. Okay. This is fine. This is fine up here. Okay, that, that's fine up here. It's just... I don't know where to put the, uh... I don't know where to put these ones. <laughs> I just don't know where to put them. Um... I mean, we put them here. That That's fine. That that covers all those, but that covers all those. But then how do we get the buildings down here? With them. I can't put them on top of there, because that, that's... that's but this, this is the completed area, so I need to put it here somewhere. So, put it there it would cover those three houses and these three houses. That's fine. But then how do I cover these? Because the only way I could do that is to put it there where this tribute of ingenuity is. And then do the same here. Put one there, put one there. And where do we put the tribute to ingenuity? I did want to put them originally in the centre. Here. And then figure out where to get power up to them. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Uh... We could put them here. Space here. Space here. We could put them there. Rather than being on top. And I, I know they get power automatically on top. But we could put them down here. And then powering them is really easy. Um, because the path can go around the back of them. That's not a problem. I've got to look here around the back because this is like this here. And we just plug in here. Look. Now we just borrow this and plug it here. These do not need to have two lines connected to them. Uh, although I would have to see where the actual was. That's the power line coming down here. So typically that wouldn't work. You'd have to go on that side. Um, and then we could put the flame of progress on top of both those. Alternatively, we could put the frame of progress down here. Would that fit down there? Now think about it. Um, flame, sorry, flame of unity. Flame of progress is a different thing. Um, no, that's not big enough to reach all that. And plus it wouldn't reach this side anyway. So I need to put one there, one there, to reach all the all the buildings. Or I'm being an idiot. Or I'm being an idiot and realise that I don't need to do that. Hold on. Let's put these back here. So let's put you there, you there, and you there. So they will get uh, all the things. 
Okay, I'm going to pause you because I don't want to use the resources on you yet. That's fine. And then what we do is we come in here, we get rid of these. Because I'm not paying attention to the space I have available to me. And all we do is we build uh, this. Oop. 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 And oop. And oop. And then we bring in a single one. Oop. oop. that and then we put in the uh, labor monument I think wants to go there as further far over as it can go like that like that boop boop and boop and the flame of unity wants to go here and that should be able to cover yes it reaches those three buildings up there and then this one will reach those three buildings up there There we go. Awesome. All our houses are covered. Cool. And then we've still got a space here for something. Here for something. And uh, here for something. So. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, dance hall. Dance hall. Do it. So, that should be a dance hall there. Put that in. We don't have any. Uh... Oh, we got that move to. Oh, that's got to be on the ground, hasn't it? Yeah, ground only. Can't go upstairs, so. No, no, no. Uh, uh, Exercise parlor, not dance hall. It's always folk tales. Boop. There you go. Okay. And then we want to bust on top of here as well, because we didn't do that. And then you want to bust on top of you. You've got one, you've got one, you've got one. Okay. There you go, and that should be every monument covering every house, I believe. You definitely, you cover everything, you cover massive amounts of area, that's fine. Um, we could put them down here if we wanted to cover the farmhouses, farming, but I don't think we need to, so long as it covers the um, uh, the, the houses, all beavers return to house. So You and you cover all that, so that's fine. And then you and you cover all that, and then you and you cover all that. You and you, you and you, you and you. Who needs to be one over? That's fine. I don't know if we're going to build a staircase or something here yet. I don't know what we're going to do with this. So I don't just want to put it on platforms and then have to blow the ground underneath it. Although I don't think we're going to blow the ground underneath it, are we? No, no, we're not. No, we're not. Let's um, let's just uh. There you go, okay, and then we'll move you over to there. Boop. Yep. And you can figure out whatever you're going to be up there. Uh, you're going to be a skydiving, skyscraping platform thing. Skydiving. Think I'm a bob. Wind tunnel. Wind tunnel, that's what it's called. Put a wind tunnel. We need, we need the space, that's why I need to move over. So there. Uh, which technically means you want to have a ladder up there instead. Um, doesn't really matter that it's double, where it comes from. It's not important. You'll do the same. You'll probably come from here. Yeah. That'd be fine. That'd be fine. Okay. But on, but on, but on. You build that. You build that. You build that. You do all that. That's fine. That's fine. How are we doing for these things? Um, exercise parts and wind tunnel are really bad. That's because of the work hours. So we need scratchers as well. Um, speed up time, go build those things, okay? Just don't build the um, the tribute to ingenuity because we don't, we don't have to paint anyway, so you can't do that. Um, scratchers are here. Let's look at these. These are, they don't require any power. They're one. Oh, okay. Um, I can't put them here because um, uh, it would block the entire gang away. We could put them here and here and here beavers come up walk away around but it's a long way to go long way to go a bit of scratchy scratchy um i want to put it there because that's going to be the staircase up to get to those that's in use there um i've put one here uh one there <laughs> um let's just do that for a minute let's just let's just do 
One. Yes. Uh, one. One. Then got here. Do one. One. Two, one. This is not going to be enough for the beavers, but that's fine. Also, you should not be there. Um, but that's okay. Uh, swim pools we're going to put in down here. Um, these will the swim pools will also cover the um, uh, water, so we don't need double shower. A double shower lets two beavers. Two beavers shower at once. Ooh. Um, we don't need that. Uh, and then everything we then need is mud baths, which I have no idea. No idea. Not a clue where mud baths are going to go. Uh, maybe like, we could put them in here. Literally in here and in here. Because these are not really going to be used. We've got, we've got this here, but I could move this out into this area. Which I'm very tempted to do. Um, the, uh, the berries. Actually put the berry storage in here. Or on this side and have the berries come up this end to get, to get berries. Then that frees up these two strips so we can put mud baths in that one. Mud baths in that one. That would work. And then the motivatorium. I think I remember saying we was going to put it here. And I was going to clear out an area here. Put it in there and there. Two of them in. I don't know if we need more than two. Probably. Probably. But if we did put it there there um, and we possibly got rid of these two industrial dog piles and just relied on the ones at the back instead um, we could put one there one there still have the trees here because it's fine for trees we could put one here and maybe one here if we got rid of the berries some of the berries here and we could put one here and one here and that would be a nice little balance because this is the edge of the the map and this is the edge of the map so this yeah yeah I think that's that's going to be the good way to do this. I think I think that's gonna that's gonna make sense. That's gonna make sense. So let's let that all build. And I've just glanced over and realised I've been recording for over forty minutes. And I'm normally trying to get thirty minutes episodes out, and I have been distracted by things. So yeah, this is gonna take a while. So we'll get that built, and we'll come out next episode, and we will carry on from there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again next one. Until then, as always, have fun.